Hello there, thank you for joining me for That's The Way It Is. I'm your host, BC. Today we're going to talk about something that I just, I don't know who would even fall for this. I'm going to tell you what, let's talk about this airplane that went missing, a 747 or a 777 or whatever the plane was. I mean, here they're saying, well, we know, we know now by crunching some numbers that the plane fell into the sea or ocean. So, everyone's lost. Okay, let's review this. The plane was manually, well, maybe let's go to the beginning. And the beginning is where you, you hear that two people have boarded a plane with fake IDs. Well, they weren't fake, they were stolen IDs. Okay, that's nothing to be um, concerned about. The plane was manually uh, the tracking device is manually cut off. Okay. Happens all the time, you know. Th things like that happen. Everybody, you know, flips the switch and just mainly uh, accidentally cut, cut things off like you would a light. Okay. Days upon days upon weeks, goes into months, the search is on. And they found no plane. Now, now they did find a lady that was deserted on island for seven years, you know, uh, using the Google satellite. But uh, no plane. There's no wreckage, no nothing. Okay, let's take this in consideration. Let's take um, these two guys that had the fake stolen IDs, or not stole, uh, fake but stolen IDs, boarded a plane, commandeered the plane. Disenabled the uh, tracking device, shadowed other planes to a different location where there may be holding these people as uh, hostages, uh, you know, for ransom, where they could be taking the plane and uh, turn it into something of war. Because, you know, this plane, that plane, that type of plane can carry a uh, nuclear device. You know, th things like these are possibilities. But, and, and then they send the family a text message letting them know that, you know, they're sorry for their losses and, you know, they're going to uh, take everyone and fly them to Alaska where I guess that they're having a service. Okay, now, first of all, they text them. You know, that is so insensitive. You know, there's nothing personal about a text. You know, that's, that's just letting you know they really don't care. And uh, and then they're going to use the same airline that lost this plane to fly everybody. What are you trying to do? Wipe the whole family out? I mean, come on now. I don't believe this plane crashed into the ocean. I don't believe that for one bit. And anybody that does, I think they need to get their head examined. I mean... You know, there's too many, too many, uh, you know, holes in that story. Number one, why was the tracking device manually disabled? You know, I mean, what are you gonna call? What are you gonna uh, say that is a um, manufacturer defect, uh, a mechanical error, and then the pilot actually uh, gets lost. Do you know how hard it is for a plane? You know I mean, they got gadgets, they got radio, they got all kinds of things to keep them, you know, going. And, you know, what would, why would the plane have even turn around anyway? You know, there's no, I mean, there's too many holes in that story for someone to just fall for it. But yet, just like, um, you know, when Obama was running for office, people would listen to the media. And they're going to say, oh, okay, well, that's what happened. Let's go about everyday life. No, that ain't what happened. Come on, people. When are you going to wake up? You ever read the book 1984? That's what you're living. You live in 1984. You know, the guy that wrote that book, I'm going to tell you what, is a genius because, cause, you know, it, it, it's like brainwashing people. You know, you people are looking for some something or someone to follow. Well, I'm going to tell you what, you may have fooled a bunch of people, but you ain't fooled me. 
that plane did not crash into no ocean. I believe that plane was hijacked. It's probably the, probably the biggest hijack since uh, D what's the name DD Cooper. You know, it's probably the biggest hijack since then. But you know, they're not going to say that. Now, see, by them saying that the plane went down into the ocean and and everybody was lost. So these hijackers can kill these people if they choose to, and uh, I mean they can get away with it. You can't convict somebody of murder if they're pronounced dead, you know, by a government. I mean, anybody even think of that? You know, I, I'm serious. There's just too many, too many holes in that theory. Now, I know that for something to be concrete is really hard nowadays. But that is just a little bit uh, too far-fetched for this one to believe. I'd like to thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful day.